us to look in our Bibles at Luke 15. Because in this chapter, I love this chapter, because it specifically accentuates two groups, two groups of these um, people, conversations with Jesus. And the fir- and then the first two verses, you'll see what it says here. It says that there's a tension. In verse 1, it says, Now all the tax collectors and the sinners were coming near to Jesus. And why were they coming near to Jesus? What were they doing? They were listening, right? So they're attentive. And then it says, so the, the one group, the tax collectors and the sinners, would be what we would consider, in essence, the renegades, right? The renegades, the ones who are sinners, you know, like Saturday Night Live, just the sinner people. They're the renegades. Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for the renegades, baby. Yahoo! <laughs> But not everybody's a renegade. Some of us are a little more meticulous, more compliant. Um, we're just a little bit more uh, march to the beat of everybody, you know, the same drum, and we want conformity. And so the Pharisees, verse 2, it says, both the Pharisees and the scribes, what did they begin to do? They began to grumble. So you have one group that's listening, and you have another group that's grumbling. <laughs> I find it interesting that the reverent are grumbling <laughs> and the renegades are listening. That seems a little bit counterintuitive, right? Like in my mind, I always think the reverent are going to listen and be attentive and obedient and, you know, very, very um, conforming. And I always think that the renegades are going to be the gripey, the loud, the, you know, <laughs> go against the grain. But in this situation with Jesus, it was kind of flipped. I think that's interesting. And I think it's noteworthy to consider that. Because I think for all of us in the room, all of us online, we could find ourselves at various times in our life probably relating to one one group maybe more than the other. <laughs> 